Of the millions of tourists who visit California each year, only a few will make it into one of its most wondrous places, both ominous and fascinating. It is the hottest place on the North American continent. In the summer of 1913, temperatures of 135 Fahrenheit were recorded in the shade at what is now Furnace Creek Ranch, at that time a world high. Daily summer temperatures of 120 degrees Fahrenheit or greater are common, while in the winter the water freezes on many a night. In some years, on the bottom of the valley, meteorologists fail to register any measurable amount of rainfall, making it North America's driest spot. At 282 feet below sea level, bad water on Death Valley's floor is the lowest point on the North American continent, while Mount Whitney, only 85 miles to the west, rises 14,505 feet. When rain arrives, it often does so in intense storms that cause flash floods, which remodel the landscape and sometimes create very shadow, ephemeral lakes. The first known pioneers to enter into Death Valley did so in the winter of 1849, thinking they would save time by taking a shortcut to the gold fields of California. Obviously wrong, they were stuck for weeks and in the process gave the valley its name, even though only one of their group died there. Ironically, almost all of the men who had been lost in 1849 came back into the area looking for gold and silver. Instead, they found borax. Lots of borax. Today, Death Valley contains over 6,000 abandoned mines. The park has a complex geologic history. The area has experienced several periods of volcanism, followed by times of sedimentation and intervals of tectonic deformation. Uplift of the surrounding mountain ranges still occurs while at the same time the bottom of the valley keeps sinking. On most days, without much air movement, masses of dry, hot air are trapped and compressed between the mountainous walls, thus creating a huge lens that focuses the sun's energy toward the sunken bottom of the valley. This collection of arid landscapes became a national park in 1994, one of the largest in the United States. Death Valley is one of the hottest and driest places in the world, yet is accommodating to over 1,000 species of plants, 23 of which are native to this hostile land. <laughs>